Uh, we have one of the best cover illustrators, and we want to stress that illustrators in the business today, Lucio Perillo, uh, who is I, here. Thank you. And is going to actually do a drawing <laughs> for you. Um, thank you. Th you know, what's amazing, and the reason we have the Art Academy, is, you know, people look at these images and they just think they come out and they don't look at the labor and the intensity and the training and all the stuff behind it. And so we like to show you that there are real human beings who are laboring and slaving over this and producing the work. Now, what are you uh, choosing to draw for us today? What, do you, what, do you like to, what character would you like to draw? Um, I think I'm doing a Joker. Okay. It's Which okay. one? It's okay for you. Joker. Oh, Joker. Yeah, well, it's always welcome. Cool. Oh, you prefer Batman? I don't know. Yeah, okay. yeah. It is Batman's 80th, and we're pretty Batman themed. Was uh, Joker a big uh, character for you as a kid, or is that a more recent discovery? Y yes, it's one of my. Huh? Uh, there is a microphone here. Uh, no, that's just the viewer. You're right okay. here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's one of my favorite uh -huh. characters because it's. Um, uh, I, I can express more my mm -hmm. imagination because of the expression of his face. Yeah, uh, it's it's fun and uh, evil at the same time. So yeah, it's more fun to to. Well, I, I hope it's fun for people to draw. It's not fun in Gotham City yeah. to experience. <laughs> but it, I know there are features. I think uh, where an artist who's looking for something and it has all these elements to pull. So when you start a Joker drawing, you're just going to start where just give it a rough outline for the head and go in from there. Yeah, usually I start, uh, mm -hmm. I use a very traditional mm -hmm. techniques and uh, uh, construction. So I usually start like uh, with uh, something like this, like uh, mm -hmm. very sketchy uh, lines, very rough. Mm -hmm. And then a kind of a sculpture with clay. So you start with a, with a kind of a egg. And then no, you, you said sculptor. You're a sculptor too, is that right? Y yes, I, yeah. I, love, I love doing sculptures, yeah. yes. When I was uh, studying at the beginning, I, uh -huh. I used to sculpt a lot more. Right. But then I chose to doing uh, more uh, painting and uh, drawing. And yeah, like Michelangelo, right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wish. But right. <laughs> but I know, it's a, it's a tough standard to live up to. <laughs> but we were talking about this upstairs. Now, you're from Italy, and you've been exposed to some amazing classical artists in museums. Right. And do you think that's been a big influence? I mean, because you have this really beautiful brushstroke work. Thank you very where, much. Where, you know, these, these, these illustrations are, you know, mesmerizing. Um, was there a conscious idea that to take that as a, as a model for, for your illustrations? Yes. Uh, I grew up studying the, um, all the masters. Mm -hmm from the past centuries. Mm -hmm. So starting from uh, the, the Italian master like right. Leonardo da Vinci, right. Caravaggio, of course Michelangelo, right. and, uh, uh, the French masters like William Bouguereau. So I'm very obsessed by yeah. the museums. Yeah. So I, I often go into the museum and stay like hours watching all the brush strokes and the, the canvas and the details. And what I try to do is, because I'm a big uh, comics uh, fan mm -hmm. since I was a kid, so, because my father was, uh, my father was my, my first uh, uh, mentor. Okay. So he was also a, a comic fan. He, yeah. he used to buy comics, and so I grew up with comics on one side and uh, museums and art book on another side. Right. So I, I'm trying uh, to mix together, yeah, like yeah, the synthesis. Old, uh, exa together. Exactly. Yeah. So the the, mm -hmm. the I try to mix together the old techniques mm -hmm. that I use, so oil paintings and. Uh, Studying the, these masters, so I right. go to churches and uh, study the, mm -hmm. uh, the the religious, uh, biblical. Uh, well, paintings. I mean, they're the ones who figured out how to do the figure work. They're the yeah. ones who figured out what the lighting was, right, right. what the color palettes exactly, are, exactly. right. And each generation, each movement gives you another way of doing these things. Yes, and, and then I try uh -huh. to mm -hmm. uh, create something that is uh, right now. Uh, yeah. Uh, what, what I love to do, so yeah. characters like Joker, Batman, mm -hmm. uh, Poison Ivy. Uh, so I'm trying to mix in these two things together, and uh, that's my background, and this is m my job. Right, right, and then you know, and that's we we were talking together about this. The point being that you know, too often comic book art is somehow separated from museum art, and it only really in the last few years have museums and other places started to realize that comic book art is right, not just. Right a mass medium, but that it's something art on its own that's worthy of gallery exhibitions and shows. Now, working as a cover artist, is that a, a chance really to get into that kind of extra work and do the amount of, I mean, because you, you just couldn't keep that up for, you know, a whole, every panel for an entire comic book, right? Uh, yeah. 
I don't want to hold you back. Yeah, no, 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 right no, right. <laughs> no. I mean, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, right now it's a, like a, a big satisfaction because uh, yeah. uh, I've been uh, trying for years mm -hmm. at the beginning to break into the gallery mm -hmm. uh, mm, market. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and I was doing uh, paintings and stuff like this yeah. with fine art. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's amazing. I love that. But uh, there is a kind of... Uh, uh, I, I don't want to say that the wrong word, but yeah. uh, the kind of little mafia, yeah. right? Yeah. Where so their gallerist uh, just choose the artists that they they want to choose, and right. not because they have a good skill, but, they, but they, because they they advertise very well and they sell sometimes stuff that is not really yeah. very good in terms of in terms of uh, technique and. Uh, so it was not very nice because uh, you study all life yeah. to, to try to get better and better every day. You study anatomy, you study light and shadows, you study uh, for hours and hours uh, all the little muscles of the, the, the body and right. then um, perspective, architectures. So everything you need to do a nice comic yeah. because it's very hard to do comics right now. It's probably the, the, the hardest uh, uh, artistic job right now. And then uh, you see gallery choosing just like a big yeah. canvas with a red dot in the middle. <laughs> yeah. And you say, so come on, wh why have to study 30 years for, the, right. for have uh, someone tell me, no, you're not uh, uh, enough good to, to be in my gallery. Well, you know, so there is a gallery where you, you are featured, and I think it's with a lot of people here, which is there's nothing like a variant cover or a beautiful painted cover as a framing item. You know, that you have, I'm sure that your work is on walls of people's homes. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> exactly, it's, exactly. Right? So that's the, you're, you're, right, you're right. with the gallery of the people. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, right yeah. now, the big satisfaction uh -huh. is uh, doing uh, comics at, and at the same time uh -huh. uh, see people like you uh, happy about uh, buying uh, original art and see, okay, this is a painting. And, mm -hmm. and you can say, this is an oil yeah. painting. This is a so you understand what there is behind the comic, yeah. behind, behind the comic page. It's art, yeah. first of all. So and it's nice because in the in the last years I see many galleries start showing comic artists, and uh, yeah. and we have uh, amazing artists uh, yeah. in this industry that they are bef before be doing comics th they are uh, big big artists that right. can do anything, yeah. anything from landscape to portrait to. So th that's well, I, 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 in fact, I have to get you back to drawing um, because. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. Oh, by the I, way, I this is good much. education <laughs> because what you need to know is you you list you heard the number of steps he listed, right? That if you really take this craft seriously, you're studying things beyond just mechanical skills. You're discovering, you know, biology and forms and lighting and color choices. So when you're working, you're starting in pencils, even when you're doing paintings uh, for covers. Uh, so, sorry. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Keep drawing. I'll, I'll, I'll fill in the gap. <laughs> no, I got to see this Joker. So let, don't let me interrupt here because this is really coming out really nicely, and I keep taking you away from it. Now, when I start uh, talking, I never stop because oh, I, I, yeah. I spend too much time drawing in yeah. the silence. Yeah. So I finally, when they have someone uh, listen to me talking, uh -huh. I keep talking. And well, they're all listening, <laughs> but they're also looking up at this giant board with this beautiful illustration. Wow. So you have a nice big chin, Joker, crazed nose. Look at that. I think what we keep discovering is the more confident an artist gets, the faster his strokes are. He just knows <laughs> to make those choices. So usually th th this is what I do when I start uh, uh -huh. creating like the, the concept of the cover. So it's a very quick sketch. Mm -hmm. It's lovely. There we go. Now you've left space for the eyes, but you're getting into the details now. <laughs> okay. so. And is there a single key to the Joker's face? Is it the nose, the chin, the eyes, or is it all of them? Is it yeah. all those pieces? <laughs> okay. Because yeah. you got the checklist there. Okay. Uh, well, you know, 
the Joker has to have a full mouth of teeth, right? So. Yeah. And this is pretty much how you would start anything. You would yes, go in yes, first exactly. on pencil, no matter what. And yeah, you use paints later on, right? Yes, I mean, yes. You fully give right, a, right. Yeah. This is exactly yeah. what I do when I, mm -hmm. when I have to do a cover. Mm -hmm. So sometimes I'm afraid that the editor probably see a lot uh -huh. of uh, scribbles, and they probably think, uh, uh -huh. <laughs> what are you doing? Like, uh -huh. <laughs> so but I, I, they, they, they know it's just the beginning of. Uh, yeah. 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 And that is one of the things that's nice about getting to see you do this. The stuff, the finished work we see is so polished and so finished <laughs> that you think it just kind of comes out in that way. So usually the second thing I do is uh, mm -hmm. find the, the, the light source. Mm -hmm. So in that case, this, the, the light is coming from, uh, from the, the top and uh, so. I start sketching also the uh, the shadows. Is that line your reference of where the light is? You'll even put that in for yourself to remind you it's going to shoot down this way the whole time. Right. Block? Yes. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. That most of the yeah. time I, I yeah. take pictures yeah. of myself or friends or uh, mm -hmm. uh, because I try to not do always the same kind of uh, light mm -hmm. shadows because if I go with my imagination. Uh, sometimes uh, I repeat the same uh, yeah. cliche. I don't know sure, sure. Your instinct, yeah. you just you do the trick you did last time. But it's interesting. Yes. I mean, a lot of people use reference for the details of people's faces, but you're using reference for light and seeing the way the light reacts yeah, off of another person's face. Right. Yeah, because yeah. each one mm -hmm. of us mm -hmm. has different uh, mm -hmm. f future f yes. fe features. Yeah. Okay. So if with the same light, mm -hmm. uh, everybody has has different light and shadows. So if I do the same uh, in, in each card, if I think about the same light in, in each card, in there must be different uh, uh, project, pro, pro, projectors. Yeah, no. yeah. Uh, but, uh, sorry yeah. for my English. Yeah, but yeah. <laughs> it's all right. The drawing speaks okay. for itself. So <laughs> that's it. That's us. Awesome. Do you think there's any one inspiration on your Joker? Is there someone who's influenced your look, or is this just you putting your own vision on him? Um, I mean, I don't want to say you're copying anybody. I don't no, know. no, no, yes. Yeah, yeah. You, uh, yeah. Okay, I like a lot the, the uh -huh. Joker uh, from Glenn Fabry. Yeah. That mm -hmm. was amazing. Okay. And uh, uh, Beasley, Simon yeah. Beasley. Beasley and Fabry, that's yeah. the right era. Yeah. Okay. It was okay. very uh -huh. a caricature yeah, style. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, I noticed there's like, yeah, there's a couple things that pop out of your face. Right, Other right. People have this angular and, you know. I mean, there's no wrong answer in the Joker. Every version is scary. Oh, man. That is cool. Okay, so we're going to end up giving this piece of art out. Did you know that? Yeah. So by standing in line, you learned something, you got to see a drawing done, and one of you is going to end up winning this thing. So it's going to be tough, though. We're going to ask you a trivia question. It's, you know, everyone's going to be Googling it and trying to figure out. But no. <laughs> uh -huh. Is everybody having a good time today? I mean, it's we, we're at last few hours, right? We're just like, it's, it's where did the week go, right? Some of us is where did the week not go fast enough, but you know, the rest of it. You can do a little smudge in there as well? Yeah, yeah. yeah. usually I use my finger. The Your first finger? thing they yeah. told me when I was a uh, uh -huh. kid in the school, they told yeah. me, don't use the finger. Yeah. So, and I did for all life. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I always do that. Uh -huh. Now, because I like to um, uh -huh. have a more soft uh, shadows, even in the sketches. So. Oh, that's cool.
and you've covered so many with covers so many of our characters is there anyone out there you haven't had a chance to do yet that you're hoping for um cuz I'll talk to an editor right now and find yeah. out <laughs> <laughs> no i mean i could, there is one character that i didn't do so far yeah but uh, I, I, we, I am, I'm doing now, so okay. I, I so can't we'll say we'll anything. All right, so the <laughs> so answer is there so is an secret. answer, <laughs> but the answer's already been taken, and we haven't announced so, it yet. So. Yeah, and I'm very yeah. proud and very happy about that. Okay. So you will see in the next month. So, so when you I see the cover come out, just know how much it actually means to him, this next one through. So this next one's going to be a labor of love. Right. So excellent. It's one of my favorites since uh -huh. all life, so uh -huh. I'm very happy about that. And uh, well, I hope I will do... Happy. You're a nice guy. I like the idea I'm pretty anxious because... I'm pretty anxious because... Anxious. Yeah. Because uh, I always wanted to, to, right. to draw that, and now I'm, I can do that, so right. I, I don't know if I, I will do very good uh, yeah, or you're not. You're hoping so. you don't go, oh, <laughs> yeah, he didn't do that good on that. We won't give him any more of those. Or, but, you know, I don't think that's going to be the answer. I don't, you know, your work stands out. Your covers just pop off the shelf. So, All right, so I think it's going to be, we're going to keep this in pencil. Is that okay? Yes. Okay, good. Um, so we have a trivia question coming up, and that is... Well, we got to make it about the Joker here. All right, this is a tough one. This came from our trivia panel. Um, the Joker had a hideout. Uh, he's had several hideouts that have all used this name. Anybody know what the Joker uses as a name for his hideouts? What's that? That is correct, sir. Were you at the panel? <laughs> then you are an awesome trivia guy. That was a great, that's a tough one. That's fantastic. Now, okay, now this is going to a, yeah, did you hear what the answer was? It's the Ha Hacienda. Yeah, the Joker is really punny and bad, so congratulations. I'm very impressed. So. All right, I'll ask you another one we didn't get doing. In her second origin story, I think it was back in the 50s, Selena Kyle was working some ordinary job and had an accident, and that's what turned her into Catwoman. Do you know what job she had? No, it wasn't a counter clerk. It was an accident. It was a sky accident. She was a... Secretary? No, she was a flight attendant. And she fell out of the plane and hit her head. But that's the 50s when they're trying to make these dark characters seem a lot less dark. So it's not her fault. Catwoman just fell out of a plane and that's how it happened. But yeah, right? right? That's really goofy. So... Uh, and as we're wrapping up, we're about to give this out. Uh, anything else you want to share with your audience? Because this, this is not my audience. Trust me, this is a much bigger audience. This is yours. These people came to see you. So anything else you want to share with them? Just from the heart, anything else? Uh, Just uh, if there's anything else you wanted to say. Is okay, like, no, yeah. thank you very much for coming uh -huh. here. And uh, thank you so much for buying my art and uh -huh. my books. And uh, thank you so much. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, so if I'm here, it's just because of you, so thanks a lot. Okay, so actually don't go completely away. I understand you're going to do a signing next, right? And it's over at the Metropolis stage. Metropolis, you're in Gotham, right? You knew that, right? This is the Gotham side of the DCWB booth. Metropolis is past Central City. It's at the very end. So basically the opposite end of this one, facing out that way and you're going to have a chance to get signatures and other stuff from this talented gentleman. So let's give it up for Lucio Perillo. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And you come over here. Again, I'm very impressed. That was not an easy question. I've thrown out some easy ones and people failed. Yeah. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure.